Hi everyone, Richard here. Currently testing out the Asus ROG Phone 3 and I'm um, taking a walk. Currently, this is a front camera with uh, full HD 60 frames per second. I'm shooting. I'm bringing you to the Wetland Spa. It's a very interesting place. What we have here that you don't normally see. Let me switch it back to the front camera. Okay, currently now I'm shooting at the front camera at uh, 4K 60 frames per second. What is unique here is every evening you will get all these flamingos. I think they're flamingos. Right? Or. Yep. Or herons, I don't know what you really call them, but they're all here. And they're always here during the evening. And you can see they are at they perch up on the bridge. So currently is this is the ROG phone 3 with the 4K 60 frames per second. Not sure one of them will just turn around and, and come after me. But uh this is a rare sight indeed. You can see. Beautiful birds. Let's let me take some photos from there. So two of them flew off when I got near. So you probably see them fly off at 4K60. So you get 4K60 frames per second. And they're up on the lamppost as well. Beautiful, right? So what I felt that I just realized that there's no zoom uh, lens on this phone. So I have to manually pull in. This would be digital zoom. And that's as close as I can get. I think. It's like 4 times. 3.9 times. That's as far as I can get. And it's not as uh, sharp when they zoom in. So this is the front video, full HD, 60 frames per second. And that's the sun behind me. How's the camera doing? And I'm turning around and the sun is now facing my face. And that's how it looks like. Hopefully the audio is in sync as well. So they're currently perched uh, on the banks. This is where they normally are uh, in the evenings. So let's test out the stabilization. I'm trying to walk and pan at the same time. Uh, the ground is very uneven. And the, this is currently on 4K60. I'm hoping that the stabilization is great and um, 
doesn't come out too shaky. The wide angle seems to be great. It gives a better perspective, but they don't have wide in video. So I'm just left with just a digital zoom. And that's 2.7 times, and I'm going into 4.0 times. So 4 times digital zoom. I don't think it's really sharp because it's very blurry on my find them here on my screen uh, lovely red flowers and I'm gonna try out the macro lens from this camera and let's have a look how it looks like okay the macro lens seems to turn out well Got hold of some of these uh, ants. Uh, you don't want to get beaten by them. So currently at 4K60, and this is all the ants on the tr flowers. They're probably eating them for their sweetness. Testing out the HDR function on the cameras. And that's the sun with a very bright sky with the reflection on the lake. So the HDR seems to look good on the photos. Okay, yeah, I'm currently walking on very uneven surface here, it's grass and rocks and let's see how sh shaky the video will turn out. Not expecting it to be smooth like GoPro, but uh, if we can smooth out some jitters, it'll still be usable. Thing interesting here. This is a cocoon or a spider web. I'm not sure it's focusing. Okay, now it's focus. You can touch to focus, and it will focus. So that's how it looks like. Let's take some photos of this. Actually, the macro wasn't too bad at all. That's how it looks like. There you have it, just a quick look at the video and uh, how it's handling in the evening sunset and uh, this currently is the front camera full HD 60 frames per second if you've seen the others uh, 4K 60 I didn't try the other video rates because I just want to see how good is the 4K 60 um, currently now is the, still the most used for me because 4K 60 is what I normally use for my videos and uh, again do give me a thumbs up if you like this and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. See you.